Hi, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your May 1st to the 15th, 2023 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out tremendously, so thank you so much for doing so. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy we need to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. Ooh. This is like this so this is the six of wands the six of wands it's like i don't know it's on its side so it's kind of neutral right it's not being celebrated when you need to be celebrated and others being celebrated gemini that shouldn't be celebrated and there's a sense here of like what the heck is going on with with people's expectations or what people are wanting from me so there can also be this apprehension for just ourselves to celebrate ourselves. We can tend to not celebrate ourselves when we should and, you know, celebrate ourselves when we shouldn't. And there, there's a sense here of just chaos around celebration, around moving things forward, around even seeing the good of what we've, we've done. It was very much like this. We can also just feel very apathetic, very much of a sense of, you know, well, I'm not living up to these expectations. And what we don't understand is that our expectations for ourselves are just off the chart. And we have to kind of calm down and take littler steps, littler expectations for us, littler challenges for us to achieve, to be able to move forward to, to what we want, because we'll be happier with ourselves. Because if we say, okay, today I'm going to clean the counter and you know do work and this and that. And if we do that, we celebrate us. That's a big thing. We need to make goals to celebrate ourselves because that's just going to be such a positive thing for this time. And we're kind of, we're not very good at that right now. We're kind of apathetic. Let's see what spirit has to say here. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. This is adventure reversed. We need an adventure. We do. We need an adventure. And it almost like, spirit's like, say it softly because you know it, Gemini, but you're also very much afraid of the next adventure that's coming. There's something in you that knows it's going to be a big deal. And it's like, well, let's just not do that. Or let's not have that adventure. Or let's not go there. Spirit's like, no, 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 no. Go there. Have the adventure. You need it. You need an adventure for you. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Okay. Can you see all that? Brilliant. All right. So what we have here is we have the nine of pentacles crowning us. This is saying live in the moment. You have achieved great things. There is power. There is prosperity. There is abundance to you. Live in this moment. We need to look at what we've done right and celebrate that. That is going to be very, 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 very important for us. 
we're going to have a tendency to embrace the past, to worry about the future, but being right here right now and showing up for us, that's going to be a really big deal and saying, wow, look at what I've done. Instead of, I should have done better. Because that's going to be the first thing that we think, well, I could have done it this way. And that person was upset. And, you know, it should have been like this, not like that. Mm -mm. Show up for you. It moves us to the 10 of swords. The 10 of swords is a dying way of the old self, a rebirth of the new. But it's through trials and tribulations. Your mind is evolving. You're releasing a lot of negativities, hurts, pains, disappointments that have been stepped into. Like the sword in the Rider right Waite Smith deck, this is a person laying on the ground with 10 swords stabbed into them. Here it's, you know, a ball of yarn with 10 knitting needles. But the intensity is still the same, right? There is a sense of feeling overwhelmed, can even be feeling severed from what we truly wanted, what we truly needed in that moment. But we're taking that knowledge and the fact that life isn't fair. It doesn't always work out the way that we want it to. People love the happily ever after fairy tales for a reason because it takes us out of our world. And it's saying, I am rising in my power, in my knowledge, in myself, stronger than I ever was. More power, more powerful than I ever could have imagined. And it moves us then to the five of pentacles. You might be hitting a little bit of a hiccup when it comes to money, okay? Nothing big. This is old, you know, negative ideas around money. We could also be a little bit more reckless with our money. Just be aware of that as well because we feel, we're feeling like I'm on the outside anyway. Why does it matter? I get to treat myself. I get to have a moment of happiness. Be aware of that. Be aware of seeking out that happiness that way. But the five of pentacles is feeling on the outside of wealth, feeling overwhelmed, feeling like we, we can't move forward the way that we want to. There's something barring the door, the entry forward. And it can be us, our own doubts and fears and, and hurts and pains, but it can be other people. And Spirit saying to us, if the, doors, if the doors are barred, why are we trying to go into that building? I have doors open for you. I have a way forward open for you. I need you to follow me. There's something here that it's like, I'll be successful when this person sees me as successful or when this person, you know, gets me or when I'm accepted here or there. And it's like, why even bother with those who will never truly see you? See yourself. That's, that's like a theme <laughs> during this time. See yourself. With a chariot, this is cancer energy, all right? So if we're born on the cusp of cancer, it comes through very strongly, or if we have cancer within our chart. But this is taking the reins. This is like, I'm taking hold of things. I'm moving things forward. You might find yourself wanting to go out and saying, you know what? I'm going to go out. I'm going to, you know, go and do this or go and do that. Go, go, go on little adventures. It doesn't have to be anything big to the grocery store and, and, you know, treat yourself to something while you're there or, you know, just, just move forward for you, not for anybody else. There's a sense of, I've been carrying a heavy weight on my heart and Spirit's like, release it. Release it and move forward for you. We want everything. We do. We want everything to be balanced. We want the two sides of us, the two harmonies in our lives, the two you know chords in our lives to be harmonized. And sometimes it works. And sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes we need to just see us for us. And that's going to be a huge part of what Spirit is presenting forward for us during this time. It's like move forward for you. Not with anybody else's permission, not with anybody else. It's like move forward with you, for you. Embrace what you love and don't apologize. It brings us then to the two of pentacles. We've been balancing and juggling a lot. And if we're not taking care of ourselves, we might find that we're a little bit at a breaking point. It's like, oh my gosh, I can't do this anymore. Be, be aware of that because spirit isn't really joking around. You know, things can get to be too much. And if we're not taking care of ourselves, spirit will make us slow down. It can start off with whispers and then it becomes shouts. So just be aware of this. With the two of pentacles. Spirit is just saying, stop trying to be everything for everyone. Show up for you. Connect with you. See you. Stop juggling everything. This is going to be a time, again, it's like, one task, one thing. One task, one thing. 
And after the completion of each, each task, celebrate yourself. Like, wow, well done. People can think you're, you're, you know, mad during this time. That's fine. Let them think what they want. But celebrate you. Connect with you. It's important. It really is important. It moves us to the Seven of Cups reversed. And the Seven of Cups reversed is a sense of releasing our dreams. For some of us, this is going to be very sad. There's a sense of like, I can't do this. For others of us, it's like I'm letting my dreams fly off into the universe like butterflies. And I'm seeing what stays, what stays with me. The Seven of Cups reversed is, is freedom in one hand. But let us not walk away from who we truly are and what we truly want. Because for some of you Geminis, you know, we're right on that cusp of doing that, of saying, oh, this is ridiculous, or oh, this is too hard, or oh, I can't possibly do this, or oh my gosh, you know, what, I'm just such a fool. Or filling up so many cups that we become overwhelmed and saying, I, I, I just can't. I have too much on my plate. Be aware of this. This is going to be important. It really is. Yeah. Our subconscious message from spirit to be mindful of is the king of wands. This is somebody with a bad temper coming in. And just be aware that, you know, we might have a lot of people in our lives right now getting angry, having bad tempers, feeling, you know, chaotic. This, they can be fire sign energies, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, people born on the cusp with these signs. But it can also be around work. They have a frustration around work and they bring that frustration forward. And it's like, well, wait a minute, you know, don't take this out on me. So just be aware of this during this time. And there can be a frustration around us and a little bit of a, a temper with us as well. So I highly recommend Spring Forest Qigong, which I have linked in the description box below. But if you can do some sort of meditation, movement meditation, if that's better for you, just know that like everybody's kind of like at a boiling part, point during this time. And we just need to calm it down. And we need to remember us. Not everybody else. But we need to remember us. It's not being egotistical. It's really saying like, but I matter. And meaning it because you do, Gemini. Our subconscious message from spirit is imagine. Imagine. Imagine that what you love. Imagine what you want. Imagine where you want to be for you. Imagine. If there were no limits, where would you be? What would you be? What do you desire? It'll come forward. Don't be afraid to imagine. And don't be afraid to let that imagination guide you. Start, you know, writing it down or keeping a vision board or, or doing something to keep those dreams in the forefront. And if you're looking at things and you're saying, you know what, the old dreams, they don't fit anymore. They don't fit me anymore. I don't want them. But I want these new dreams. Then let that come forward. You can be purging away old dreams that just don't fit and bringing forward a new life for you. Our subconscious tarot message is the Hierophant. If we have Taurus energy in our chart or on board on the cusp with Taurus, this energy comes through very, very powerfully subconsciously in our lives. Okay, especially if this is your moon, okay, it's going to come through. Big deal. It, like a big deal during this time. The Hierophant is is balance the hierophant is you know it's it's structure coming in it's finding the place that you stand what you want what you desire what you're looking for and it's seeing you it's seeing you in power it's seeing you in structured organization moving forward so if there's a sense here where it feels like it's just going to be too chaotic for me to get to where i want to be subconsciously we know it's not we know that we can do this that we got this and that we are a heck of a lot stronger than even we think we are at times. So be very proud of yourself here. Be very proud of yourself, Gemini. Stay balanced within you. Look at what you want. Look at the institutions that you want to be a part of, the kind of like the clubs you want to join and the clubs that you don't want to join. And if you want to kind of join every club and then see if it fits you or not, do so and then walk away. I'm using that as an example because there's just a sense here of like I'm finding the right fit. It's like finding the right shoes or trying on sweaters or whatever to say, you know, does this look right on me? Is this right? And you were saying, you know, no. And you're being really honest with yourself. 
saying, no, if I don't love it, I'm not taking it. And that's what we're seeing here. If I don't love it, I don't want it in my life. And subconsciously, we're moving forward in that authority of self. All right. Oh, and this is also prosperity at work. So that's really good. All right. All right, Gemini. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Gemini. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.